get ready because Friday the San Diego Wave take on the Orlando Pride. And for player Maggie Doherty Howard, it means playing against her former teammates. Speaking of awkward, she joins us now. Maggie, good morning. <laughs> good morning. Put us on the pitch when you're taking on your former teammates with your new teammates. Is it just pure competition? I'm going to get you. We need to win this game. Or do you say, oh, hey, hi. How does that feel for you? 100%. I mean, when you take the field, everything is competition and everything's here. Um, I'm here to win. And that's the mentality. Of course, it'll be nice to see people before or after the game. But in the moment, everything sure. is just about the soccer yeah, that's understandable. Uh, even though it's an away game, a lot of friends, a lot of family are going to be in the stands for you, kind of cheering for you, but then maybe cheering uh, the, for, for the pride, but still cheering for you. Uh, do you expect a lot of friends and family to be there for you? Yeah, I have a lot of people coming to the game. They will all be cheering for the wave. That's made, <laughs> been made clear. Um, but I'm really excited. There's a fam familiarity, obviously playing um, there so even though it is an away game to me there will be some sense of um, being you know around family and having that yeah. home environment so um, I'm just really looking forward to it and um, excited to be there with the wave. Talk to me a little more about that familiarity from from a professional athlete standpoint you get on the field with a team that you know with a team that you know well and now you're playing against them what kind of advantage uh, does that give you and does that give the wave or does it not? No, I for sure. I think there's, um, you know, you've, you've played with these players and now paying against. So, you know, player tendencies, you know what they like to do, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are. So um, it's an opportunity to kind of use that to our advantage and mm. to, for me to be able to use that and share it with teammates now and kind of have a little bit of an insight into um, the team we're going up against. Yeah, it's going to be fun. Uh, so on September 3rd, your team members who are playing the World Cup, they're coming home uh, and you're playing against Houston. Tell us about that game, how you guys prepare and kind of get back into the flow with, with some team members who've been away for a couple weeks. Yeah, it's definitely a weird period um, when players are gone and then integrating them back into the system. But our staff does a really good job of kind of filling players in on any tactical changes or anything that we've had um, when they've been away. But I think it's just a really exciting time. Um, we've gotten a few players back, so it's going to be exciting when everyone's back and the team's whole again. So I think we just want to, you know, welcome them. They all represented super well um, and just make them feel right back at home. And hopefully the fans will come out and show support for them and everything they did over the last month and just show how excited we are to have them back. I'm sorry, wait, did you say pickleball? No. <laughs> oh, I thought I heard pickleball. You know, this is what we've been talking about pickleball, Maggie, like the whole morning. And then it's like this little <laughs> earpiece. And I was like, did Maggie say pickleball? No, no, no. Uh, tell me a little. No, you know, but this team does love pickleball. <laughs> I was, tell me more. Everybody's playing this pickleball. See, I'm glad somehow I ended up in that category. Do you guys really like the pickleball? Because I'm obsessed with it. No, we do. Like a, a group of us went last weekend and we, we played a little round robin tournament with each other. Yeah. Oh, my God. Who won? Uh, well, we ran out of time on the court, so we actually <laughs> didn't get a winner. So that will have to be yeah. to be continued. Get, getting those courts is very competitive. You know, I lived in Orlando for six and a half years. I know you're from Florida. Uh, may I ask what part of Florida, what part of Orlando you lived in? I lived up in like Lake Mary Heathrow area. I'm curious where you kind of lived while you were playing there. Yeah, I was in the Maitland area. Oh, yes. On 434. Yeah, so we trained up in um, trained up in Lake Mary and then played downtown. So we were kind of situated in between both. Isn't that something? See, it's a small world. I know you're a gator and everything else. So uh, look, we, we, we thank <laughs> you for the time. But now you're in San Diego. and We love having you here. We appreciate the time this morning. Uh, enjoy the pickleball. Next time we could play. And I'm trying to get good at it. But, you know, I had some friends and, like, they fell. They don't want to hurt their ankles. I had a ruptured <laughs> Achilles last year. Maybe I'm a mess. Oh, geez. <laughs> uh, good, good luck with the game. Thanks for taking the time and, and uh, go get us a, a win. All right? Yeah, thank you so much. Good to talk to you. Awesome, Maggie. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure everybody knows the Wave FC versus Orlando Pride Friday, 4 p.m. You can watch that game right here on Fox 5. We'll be right back.